Take-Two Interactive Software wants to take you on a tour of the hidden supernatural world escorted by the agents of Bureau 13. Based on the pen and paper role-playing game by Richard Tuchoka, the CD-ROM promises to combine the flexibility of a computer RPG with the visual power of an animated graphic adventure. In the late 1800s, even the bureaucrats of the United States couldn't deny that some occurrences couldn't be explained, except in terms of the paranormal. Furthermore, the government needed a whole agency to deal with all this weird stuff. What? You've never heard of the Bureau? Don't worry, neither has anyone else. It's highly classified, and so does not offer a new answer to the popular civilian question, who you gonna call? The player will have the ability to dig into the Bureau files and construct a team to investigate and possibly exterminate supernatural entities. On previous cases, some of these creatures have turned out to be benign, or at least not as evil as they could have been, and they ended up joining the Bureau. Your team of talented humans and <clears throat> others will check out all manner of bizarre happenings. Along the way, you'll encounter numerous logic puzzles and opponents to defeat. It's going to get pretty weird, but don't worry, you can handle it. You're professionals. The specifics of the game's storyline are being kept under wraps by Take-Two, but IE has learned that the case begins with the investigation of a renegade member of the Bureau and eventually reveals a high-tech conspiracy. The plot thickens. The game should have considerable replay potential since choosing different members of the team with different skills and powers drastically alters the way the story progresses. The ending may be completely different from game to game, and of course, there's always the possibility of a sequel. Bureau 13 also features a CD-quality rock soundtrack complete with lyrics. The music was not written by Ray Parker Jr., but hey, you can't have everything. Look for Bureau 13 to appear on shelves this November.